There was a scary incident at a downtown Kelowna coffee shop Thursday morning. So at around 10 this morning, a uh, young fellow came walking along the street here. We've got him on video. Uh, picked up one of our patio chairs, large iron chairs we've got here, and attempted to smash one of the windows. Um, actually hit one of the cross beams, luckily, because there was a lady sitting right there, and the chair bounced off. He picked up the chair and walked a few more feet and smashed this window. And again, luckily there was no one sitting right here. There were a couple of fellows very, very close, and he walked away. He didn't even run away. He just casually walked away. Well, this has been an escalating problem. We, about three or four weeks ago, um, there was uh, a warming center opened around the corner and what we've been seeing is that when uh, they're shutting down in the morning 7 38 o'clock um, we're getting more and more people coming in wanting to, to get warm I get that but they're coming in and, and um, starting to steal products and starting to hassle customers hassle our staff um, we've had people being spit on and it, it has been escalating week after week and we, I can't be here all the time to, to ask people to move on. And I'm concerned for our staff, especially when these types of things start happening. The police were in and uh, we gave them our report. Do what we can. The, the current issue that we're having, um, you know, will we'll hopefully die down a bit. But it's definitely been a real challenge for us and I'm sure for other businesses in the area as well. We're not the only places that are open this, this time of the morning. The good news for Yo and other businesses in the area, the shelter is only temporary while the snow and cold weather remains. Once that ends, the shelter is scheduled to close. For Castanet Kelowna, I'm Wayne Moore.